The legislation basically does three things. First, it creates a certification program for law enforcement officers that must be renewed every three years. This is consistent with how Massachusetts certifications and other professions, like medicine, education, social work, and a host of other highly skilled, critically important positions maintain excellence. It will also create a database of certified officers ensuring that those officers' training and conduct records are available to their current and future employers. Members of the public will also be able to access certain information about police officers, including their certification status. Second, it creates a process with community involvement for decertifying a police officer, taking that certification away from individuals who do not live up to their training or their oath. Officers who've been found to use a chokehold, for example, or other forms of excessive force, uses of force would be automatically decertified. An officer would also be automatically decertified if they fail to intervene if they witness a fellow officer violating these standards. And third, it creates incentives for advanced law enforcement training and education, focusing on de-escalation, community building, collaboration, human rights, and bias. Here in Massachusetts, we currently have a strong, forward-looking approach to training and education. And thanks in part to leaders like State Police Colonel Chris Mason and countless chiefs across Massachusetts, we in many ways are ahead of other states with respect to training and education. The big gap is we lack a certification program to instill day-to-day -day accountability and transparency in the system we have. This bill will create a more modern, more transparent, and more accountable system for law enforcement training. It will ensure that men and women who cannot live up to the high standards we expect them to uphold do not stay on the force.